This is Crazy Ivan from Crazy Ivan Productions and I'm making a short video just to explain how I built the external switch assembly for my CST LTRAC X. I started out with this switch, got it from Radio Shack, it's only a couple bucks. And you see in this picture, as you will see in the first few construction photos, this uh, you'll see that there's a roller at the end of the switch lever. That was part of a design idea that I had that didn't work out and I had to switch the lever over to one that was flat and this is the one that you want to get. Flat with no roller. And of course you'll need two of them. Here's the cable that I used. It's just a uh, mono eighth inch jack also available at Radio Shack. And uh, the cord has to have two wires which you'll hook up to the switch. The mono jack obviously plugs into the LTRAC X. Here is the switch soldered onto the bare wires. Uh, the top terminal of the switch that you see here, that is not used. I just bent it out of the way because uh, it stuck down too far for mounting. And here is the completed assembly. The bulge in the cable is just a plastic housing for the 8th inch mono plug. It'll slide down and uh, cover up the exposed soldering. And of course you'll need to make two of these assemblies. This is what I used for a housing. It's a coupling from a wire cover assembly, like you'd use to streamline your TV cables or whatever. I got it at Fleet Farm. If you don't have a Fleet Farm in your area, then uh, check Lowe's or Menards or some, some hardware store should have it. I also picked up an accessory pack for the same type of assembly. I needed the accessory pack for one part, which was a mounting plate, which you will see later. Here is the housing after I slotted it out to fit one of the switches. I also drilled two small holes in the side so I could mount the switch in with little bolts. And after I verified that that was going to work out, I slotted and drilled the other side to match. Painted it black with Krylon Fusion spray paint. Here we have both switches mounted in. As you can see, uh, the bolts I got were too long, so I had to cut two of them down so they didn't collide inside the housing. And here is the completed assembly. As a final touch, I bent the tips of the levers down for a smoother look and a smoother feel. Here is how I mounted the switch assembly to the side of my trackball. I used the plate from the accessory pack mentioned earlier. It's an off-white color, and it is held in with super glue. The brighter white patch looks like Velcro, but actually isn't. It's a different type of fastener that, if you look very close, it looks like a field of tiny mushrooms. It's marketed for hanging paintings. I got it at Fleet Farm. Very cheap. It works much the same way as Velcro, but I selected this because it holds a lot more securely. It doesn't have that inherent sponginess that a Velcro fastener has. And here it is, stuck to the side of my L-Track. One more thing I do want to mention, I just want to warn you not to make the mistake I made. The original mono plugs I used were cut off the ends of a six and a half foot male to male dubbing cable from Radio Shack, and they didn't work. And I couldn't figure it out. I had an email conversation with Robert Rowling from CST, excellent customer service by the way, over email, he walked me through several tests that I performed on the trackball to make sure that the ports were working, and they were. Since the problem had to be the switch or the cable, I decided to cut open the end of the cable, and this is what I found. Apparently, these resistors are in there to prevent blowing out whatever device you uh, plug the cable into, should you turn your volume up too high. Incidentally, they also block the signals from the switch to my trackball. So I just went back to Radio Shack and bought two mono plugs without resistors. And I cut these resistor assemblies off and soldered the mono plugs on, and it works good. I guess that about covers it. Make sure you avoid the cables that have resistors in them. Good luck. Any questions? Just leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.